Welcome into the Barstool College Football Show presented by Phillips and Rocco. Week 13 of college football. We are here in New York at Barstool HQ. And I was going to start with some of the interesting news in college football this week about Tua's injury, but I'm just going to go ahead and have to let you guys hash this out. Brandon sitting here like he just got laid for the first time. He can't stop smiling. Dave thinks he's right. So, boys, your shirts. Why don't There's you nothing hash to hash out. The shirt off. The entire world saw it on Saturday night. I beat Dave Fortnoy. And he, what he, went, he blew a 28 to 3 lead. This we says all right here, okay, I give up, you win. I was wrong about Baylor. Jalen Hurts sucks. The Georgia win kept my manhood. So congrats on your manhood, but it, okay, I give up, you win, mm -hmm. stool president. You said that. I sent that in the first half. After I sent that, did you regally go into the night? No, you sent a video. From Applebee's telling me that I beat my kids and everything. And I Brandon never, Walker, clap, we, clap, 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 clap. And you didn't even I, get the rhythm I, right. I, it was a bad chance. Brandon Walker. Clap, 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 clap. Brandon Walker. Hey, Brandon Walker. Welcome to the big leagues. Not Mississippi with stupid Mississippi Hicks. I watch football with these two eyes, you dummy. Don't beat up your kids because of this. Don't beat them up. I'll take them to child services. I didn't say you beat your kids. I said don't beat your kids. Okay, and I didn't. That's a didn't. huge, huge Let's difference. get this out of the way first. No kids were beat in the making of this. None. Thank you. Okay. Good. But. Because you have a temper problem. Oh, fuck you! I don't. Your video brought everything back. I came out, second half. You blew a 28-3 lead. You were cocksure about Baylor for the last month. For the last I, month. I wasn't positive they beat Oklahoma. Well, that's this money line bet. It says $20,000 yeah, yeah. says you but were I betting that they were $20,000 on them plus 10. If Congratulations. I was, if I was, I told sure, you, I told if was you. as sure as you say, I would have done all money line. I know that you're wrapping yourself in a warm blanket of semantics right now. How but is everybody, that semantics? Everybody watching the show. That's the difference show, between losing 40 grand and breaking even. Everybody watching the show knows who won. Everybody knows. Me. I said Auburn was going to lose last week. You said Auburn was going to win. And you put my manhood on the line. Didn't happen. You put Baylor, Oklahoma, my manhood on the line. Well, my nuts Both on the table Both those games were week. close. Oh, yay, they were close. You said those teams were going to win. They didn't. I didn't. Guarantee Baylor winning. I don't know what I said, but I thought it would be close. That's why I did half and half. You guaranteed the it. The fact that when it's one of the most iconic games in the history of college football proves that Baylor was a the top one of the most team. what? Iconic games. That was an iconic I'll, game. We'll remember that. That was a team being you, out of his depth and just get absolutely. You have, a, you have a commemorative shirt, 28 I do, yes. <laughs> There's been two shirts <laughs> yes. for that. The Super Bowl oh, no. and uh -huh. that. I you only make shirts this. like that for I also commemorated this. You watch, you watch football with your two eyes, right? Correct. I'm a dummy. You watch football with your two eyes. Correct. And football, your eyes lied. You were wrong. About I was what? right. About Baylor? About Auburn? I was right about Baylor. You weren't. Yes, I You was. said they were going to win the game. You said they were going to win the game. I thought it would be a very this close is a game. Stuff. I said it would be a close game. I said You know what's not semantics, win. Casey? What's not semantics, Dave? Okay, I give up. You win. I was wrong. And I've asked this to Brandon. It's a beautiful he hasn't, shirt. He hasn't been able to answer this. Both Brandon and myself have said I was right. I have never once heard me say Brandon was right. But you're never going to That's, say that in your life. You said it about me. Brandon, that I was said your that. fatal flaw. I think. It's not a fatal well, flaw. I mean, Everybody saw the video he sent. But he you put it out you there. Can you can't see the election. Right? You can I didn't see the shit. We had a recount. Okay, I, I give was up. overruled the recount. You I win. won the recount. At, I was wrong. At 8.43 p.m. Listen, was I was done. on your side. I thought OU was going to win, too. The show's going to take four hours, isn't it? Of course it well, is. Well, it doesn't because just read what you said. Read it. These are your words. I've read it before. Say it. I tweeted it. Read it. Say it. I'm not reading Say it. I'm not reading it. I can't read it. It's too, it. The type's too small. Say it. Too small. it. The type's too small. Learning. The type is too small. Say it. Find I can't some, see it. The shirt's too small. It's a, it's a baby you. small shirt. I can't I'll even tell read you. that. Okay. It was okay. I give <laughs> up. Baby you gap. win. I, I can't even wrong. read that. I never once said you were right. I know that. Well, so you said I was right. There's bigger letters. Bad handwriting. I was wrong. That's your quote. Your words. It's not semantics. You said it. Dave, I, at any point, though, on Saturday during that game, did you think he was a worthy opponent with all of his comebacks at you? No. Shit. I didn't even see them. <laughs> Shit. Whoa. You didn't Sorry, see Mississippi him. came out for I a second. I didn't see them. That was you the didn't most, see that was the That's Mississippi bullshit. thing you've ever You didn't seen. see them. You came in on Monday just, just no, I light saw, my ass up. I saw them by Monday, but I didn't see them in real time. I was out. You were out. No, we saw you because of that sad-ass video at the end where you just, you right. know. I had I your, had your ass on your shoulders, you were I was sad. sad. I would have won 60 grand mm -hmm. on the money line. But you didn't because why? They're lost. That's right. Correct. By three. Mm -hmm. Dan, do you have a dog in this fight? I have to throw uh, you in the middle. No, I mean, I think, they're, I I think the shirt off is it. fantastic content for the show. I think, uh, I mean, Brandon Walker made... <laughs> 
Watching this all unfold, I've said this before, but it is basically going in a time machine. When you go, when you when you have an argument with Dave, you cannot make a mistake. This mistake, mistake right here. This is a, this is a pretty mistake. big mistake. As soon as I saw you tweet that, I was like, shit, you're never gonna have a leg up. Even though you did end up being right at the end of the night. Right about this what? Is... The entire show, I've said Baylor would give Oklahoma a good game and Baylor deserved you to be said in the top 10. Baylor I mean, would that. win. You said it on the show last week. It was all I about where Baylor was in his top 10. I thought that was kind of the whole argument. Right. Or the I, genesis of it. I though. told but you they Baylor, didn't belong Baylor for a lost month. a very tough game. They deserve to be ranked. They deserve, I think they're a top 15 team now. I think they proved that they're not a top 10 team. We'll find that out later. The only thing you robbed us of is that if you didn't tweet that tweet. Oh, it would have been beautiful. No, he would have figured something else out. He would have figured something else out. I mean, right, listen, listen, that's that's if, true, that's a good point. Even if he didn't cop tweet out. this, this is him submitting, I pet his belly, it was done when this happened. But if he didn't tweet this, I maintain. Baylor was very good at right. a worthy top 10 so team. So you're telling me you still wouldn't have, even if I hadn't tweeted that, you still wouldn't give me it credit. It wouldn't have been as easy to declare victory. You handed me a wrench to just whack you over the head with, and I took it and whacked you over the head And with the it. wrench didn't do shit to me because I still uh, won. Ah, no. Hard it hit. did a lot. The wrench didn't do shit. He has been you, having you've made, week. like, this shirt, this 28 3 shirt, has been made twice in the history of football. Mm -hmm. One of the most iconic Super Bowls, but one of the most iconic comebacks in the history of college football. That's the honor. You, who benefited so much from 28 3. Did they say it was Oklahoma's greatest comeback in the history of the program? I don't know. I don't know. Oklahoma. Yes, I think they it did. is. And it's the only time in the college football playoff era that somebody has come back against a ranked team like that 25 So it was an iconic game. That's it took stretching, that to be the That's stretching team. the meaning of iconic. Me, if, if, if that's they, historical relevance. That's, no, that's you're a stretch, that's team, stretching yeah. iconic. Baylor. Baylor I came was, in here, let me just say Baylor so, was fortunate. Let me just say this. I came in here wanting rooting for you. It's not going well. Baylor was fortunate Did to be in the game. Would you say Oklahoma is a premier program, power program, glamorous program? Yes. It's their biggest comeback in the history of the school. That's great. That's great. And now and Baylor, you, you wow, memorialized it. Again. Say that again. That gave me chills. Baylor. <laughs> the biggest comeback in the history of the oh, program. Good. You've now don't memorialized the shirt. Don't let me sure. interrupt the jerk off here. Baylor <laughs> was absolutely, <laughs> both of y'all, just turning each other and facing it. Anyway. Baylor <laughs> did not belong. But they then you don't make it, you don't make these type of shirts for teams that don't belong. Who they cares were, they, they were, come no, back This ain't this ain't got shit to do with Baylor. This is making you look bad. You blew a twenty eighth well, lead. It says Baylor on the shirt. Yeah, because you hitched your wagon to Baylor. That's what I you said. Did. Baylor deserved to be ranked, and I maintain that they're ranking. They deserve to be a top ten team going to that game. They proved it by the way they played. Hey, well, are they in the top of, ten this hey, week? Speaking of Baylor, why don't uh, we just talk no, about them right now? I do not believe they are. Interesting. Well, when you lose, as no, I said. No, you just said, you just said they, be, they belong in the top ten and last you don't week have any top did, ten. That's Brandon. weird. That's last odd. week they did. They did. Well, they have a chance this weekend to see where they actually Okay, belong. I give up. You win. <laughs> I was wrong. We're never going to get to the end of this show. Brandon sure Walker, Brandon direct quote. A lot. A lot. But I still won. All right, no. it's, it's I was time able to get the off the mat. Bud Light Weekend Preview. The best way to enjoy college football game days are with a refreshing, crisp Bud Light. So speaking of Baylor... They are at home versus Texas, so they're 14th right now. They are favored by five and a half. Obviously, Texas is not back. Tom Herman's in the media saying a bunch of stuff that he shouldn't. But, Dave, I'm going to go ahead and give you this first. Because of the way Baylor played last week, you think they should still be ranked pretty high. What do you think about Texas? I think Texas is Coming not very good. Up. Yeah, it's tough because they both had really bad losses last week. Texas, guy goes off sides on a field goal. The captain, too, can't do that. Yeah, and who knows if he hits that field goal if he doesn't do it. He actually missed it. You can't judge. But worst case, they would have the ball with two minutes to go, down two. Baylor, obviously, with one of the most iconic college football games, will remember it forever, really. Um, I don't know that. <clears throat> what? Nothing. Sorry. What? Well, it's true. You have You're a shirt. Remember that shit forever. Twenty-three, yeah. Who's Baylor's starting quarterback? It's the kid or Bruce Brewer or something. Oh yeah, I was gonna say Bruce Brewer. Brewer. Yeah. Bruce, Bruce Brewer. Brewer. Charlie Brewer. Bruce Brewer. Yeah. Bruce Brewer. Yeah. I'll never yeah. forget that. Yeah. Chuck. What does that Bruce mean? Brewer. Nothing. You're gonna remember it for the rest of your life. You're gonna remember the comeback. Yeah, it's awesome. It's I mean, you wear it. You memorialized it. I did. Twenty-eight. Oklahoma. Twenty-three is a hell of a number. Oklahoma, pretty, pretty. <laughs> Pretty long tradition. Greatest comeback in the history of school. 28-3. You don't think they'll remember right that? Right All right. Sorry. I, I derailed We're that. We're going to get to Oklahoma segment. in a little bit. What if Oklahoma goes yeah. on to win the national title? Oh. They're not going to. Well, okay, but what if? Uh, that'd be great. Congratulations, Oklahoma. Then that would really be And Jalen Hurts, too. That would suck for you. Probably, at that point, make money off these shirts. That game would be like... Probably. Yeah. yeah. So, you're welcome. If, in fact, that happened. Well, I mean, I don't know. We need you to do that. It also has the back. I put the back on there. With the, the money, money line, line back. Yeah, Why don't you put the plus 10, too? Because 
Was it relevant? Well, it wasn't it's relevant. very much relevant. I would have lost 40000 and said I broke even. So I have a t-shirt consultant who fought, felt this was the right way to go. We're um, never going to talk about football, are we? Let's I, go. Sorry. I <laughs> would lean towards Texas and the points here. I don't like the game. I just don't know how Baylor gets up at all mm -hmm. after that last one. I agree. And the under. I would take the under, too. The total is 59. Gonna be, mm -hmm. They're going to be flat performance. I will say teams. that play in the game, the Baylor game, fourth and five, bullshit holding call on Baylor. That was, that was what opened the door for Texas. It was a turnover, basically. So, I mean, uh, Oklahoma, excuse me. I do agree with both of these gentlemen on this one. Uh, Texas, Tom Herman's starting to feel a little heat. I think Texas comes in a little desperate. Uh, they're not as bad as their record. Baylor, listen, all, all joking aside, Baylor is better than I thought they were. I still don't think oh. they belong. <laughs> oh, oh, I still don't think. How stupid are you? How stupid are you? This is y'all are y'all are y'all are going too far. Oh, I still don't think they. Thank you. Oh, All right, that was it. Thank you. You're a man of honor. Integrity. Shaking it's over. Everybody shut the fuck up for a second. Shaking it's over. Shaking it's over. Thank you. Thank you. It takes a big man. Can I say? Do you should change shirts? Did, I mean, now, did a naked woman walk in here? Why am I freaking you, out so much? You were wrong. Okay. That's fine. What did you just what do? I am he saying. doubled down on this quote. Yeah. He just said I was Great. wrong again. What? Thank you. Shake, you it's done. Doing, I won't mention it again. You're off the hook. They never I mean, belonged in the top ten. Oh, and uh, here we go. That's what, if you let me get here to the fucking go. point. Oh, they go. never belonged in the top ten. Okay, Brandon I do think Walker. they belong in the top 20. They're going to be, I don't know how they bounce back. It's going to be a very, very close game. A desperate team against a desperate team. Close game. Take Texas. I do think Baylor wins. Good job, Brandon. Good job, buddy. You know what I said was I know what you said. Accurate. You were wrong, buddy. You guys are so your takes. They do not You're belong so in the top wrong. ten team. Right. You were wrong about Man, him. What, you just said you, it. What you should have said is the reason that they I, got Casey, up. Casey, stop, so stop. Points. There's no, no, nothing no. I should have said. I just no, said. No, you should have said. I'm on your side about that. You submitted it again. I'm on your I side about that. Shit. You have a nice, soft belly. <laughs> <laughs> that actually is true. The, I know. I love rubbing it. But the reason that Baylor was in that game early was not because they're better than they. It was because Jalen Hurts played like shit. That's what you should have rolled with. That was so stupid of you. I know. That's what you should have said was they never belonged to the top ten team. I will say the good thing about Bram Walker is a simple southern guy. When he knows he's wrong, he has to admit it. He's done it now twice. Oh, God. So you're taking... Why do you keep making noise? Because you just... Isn't he supposed to be wearing a Michigan You blew it. No, I'm not. That was only last show. He only wore it once. You blew okay. it. You blew it. You only outward. He didn't blow it. He that knows in his heart of hearts. I was right. He's wrong. He said it twice. <laughs> Not once, twice. Thank okay. you, Brandon. You well, guys, you're, you're a man of you know honor you and integrity. You know you I don't let me finish that. that. I have right. the, you know you didn't let me finish that. Man. Like you I have gave you a little bit of air. And you, I gave you a little bit of teeth. And you guys just suckled so, like it was the biggest one in the world. has a ton of stock in the Brandon Walker Corp. I do too, yeah. It's a bad day. Not yeah, once, but twice. Brandon Walker's hot right now. No, you yeah. blew it. That's like when they always say, like, if the president tweets this, we could be in a war with China. You just tweeted something that just ended all of your stock. I, this is crater. He said it not the once, market has but moved. twice he's admitted he's wrong. I love well, it. And in a little bit, we're going to talk about Oklahoma, so I'm sure this will rev back up. I'm also going to, I mean. All you need to do is say Baylor's still a fraud, like I've always I know. said. No, he all said exactly what I've been wanting. I know. I know. <laughs> he's still, it's starting to set in, too. He knows. Points he's starting himself. to set in what he did. He did. He points that matched himself. I'm also going to take Texas. People at Baylor are not going to get up in this game. It was very loud in Waco, but Texas and the points. We're going to get to Oklahoma, Brandon. Maybe you can redeem Thank yourself. Thank you, Brandon Walker. All right. <laughs> no, you didn't nice. let me finish. That's, that's fine. Me being well, a gentleman. That's fine. Mm. We're going to go to number six, six Oregon. Noise. <laughs> <laughs> it just hurts, There's man. A lot of noise I didn't think that the, like, why? Oh, oh, a lot just of noises on this set. Mistake. Fine, Again, fine. It's not a mistake. If you say it once and then twice, it's what you believe. He was wrong. He said it twice. I was not wrong. Well, just wh whatever. We'll see how he rebounds Keep in a little it. bit. <laughs> number six Oregon at Arizona State. Oregon favored by 14 and a half. The total is 52. Arizona State started the season off 5-1. Five and one. Now they're 5-5. Five and five. Obviously, Oregon is still battling for a college football playoff spot. And Justin Herbert, Dan, looks like he's the real deal. Yeah, I. Uh, this is, to me, too many points for Arizona State. Leave it on the grass. I... Oregon is good. I like Oregon. They're impressive. They have their whole future in front of them here. They know the path. They got to beat Oregon State in the uh, whatever cup they call it. What do they call it? The Apple Cup? No, that's that's Washington. That's Washington. 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 Uh, the Civil War. Civil right? War. Civil War. Yeah. That's a great game. I always love that game, even though Oregon State gets pasted every time. Uh, this is one of those situations where they know they they beat Utah. They're gonna jump Alabama, and then if LSU can beat Georgia, they'll be in the the college football playoff. So. 
This is one of those spots, though, that they could easily trip up, and maybe they win this game, but 14 and a half feels like too much. Arizona State, we've talked about before, Herm Edwards, big game coach. He will have them up for this. They will give their best punch to Oregon. I think it's going to be like a 7, 10 point game. So I'm going to go the other way. Arizona State started 5 and 1. They look good. Herm Edwards is flying high. They've lost the last four. They're 5 and 5. It's going off the wrong way. Oregon, again, national title playoffs in their sights. They can smell it. Oregon minus 14 and a half. Well, and the problem with Justin Herbert, we've been talking about this on the podcast as well, is he had that awful game at the beginning of the year against Auburn, but he's been playing really well. I think really he played well. well in that game. He played bad in the fourth quarter, but yeah. But now everybody's talking about how good he is. It's people aren't really watching those games because they're so late at night unless you're gambling on them, but Justin Herbert's having a hell of a season. No, he's been good, but, I, you know, the Pac-12 is pretty soft as well. There's not a lot of good teams in the Pac-12. I also, Arizona State, you bring up a good point, Brandon Walker, that they've lost four in a row, but they, did have, uh, they didn't have their quarterback against USC, which is a game they almost won outright even though they you know had to play a freshman who never had a snap before that's true but oregon's got so much momentum right now mm -hmm. they are playing really really well their defense is very good dave what do you think tough game i've gone back and forth on it i think it's too many points i still like Herm edwards far more as an underdog but i almost would be more comfortable if the spread was like eight 14 and a half is so many um you know, I was on Arizona State earlier when we did the Pick'em podcast, and now the more I'm thinking about it, I'm starting to lean towards an Oregon blowout. They did lose one of their wide receivers. Micah Pittman is out for the season. I don't know if that matters to you at all. He's good. Very, very good player. Very, very good. He's broke his arm. He's done. I'm going to stick with Arizona State, but I don't like the play. I'm going to go with Oregon as well. They have a lot to play for, and Arizona State's just not playing very well. All right, Brandon Walker, this is another time for you to redeem yourself. We're going to talk about OU. TCU Don't going say we're in, wrong for the third time, TCU please. going into Norman, number nine, Oklahoma. Oklahoma is favored by 18, a total of 65. And as of now, while we're recording, we don't know if CeeDee Lamb is going to be playing or not. His status is up in the air. Randon, your thoughts on your best friend, Jalen Hurts. Don't care. Why don't you write down what you're going to say before yeah. you say it? No, I'm good. good. I'm don't good. say Dave, okay. you're right about Baylor this, this time. This slate sucks. This shouldn't be the, the second okay, or so, third best. So far, so well, good. It was be the okay, did you say it? We, I'm just going to stare you in the eye <laughs> yeah. so you can immediately give me feedback, okay? Yep. We good wanted so a little far. buffer, but we put this here so you guys could argue again. TCU, I'm not going to argue. He's already admitted he's wrong twice. TCU, Oklahoma, this weekend. Listen, I just don't think TCU has anything in the tank. Oklahoma righted their season this week. I don't oh, like giving up. Dangerous. I don't like giving up 18, but I'm going to do it with Oklahoma. Anything wrong with that? No, that was good. He, they righted their season because they beat a good Baylor team, so that's fair. Um, TCU stinks. I had Texas Tech last week and Texas Tech money line split them, much like the Baylor game, uh, and that was after Texas Tech had a furious comeback in that game. I don't think Oklahoma's great 18. They can't stop anybody. TCU's offense isn't great. It's at night at Oklahoma. I'm going to go with TCU, but I hate yeah. the game. Yeah, I, like I agree. Game I'm going to take TCU as well. It's more the spot. Don't bet the teams, bet the numbers. And 18 and points is a lot with the defense, although, I mean, And Oklahoma just good. saved yeah. their season. I mean, that was an emotional win. Yep. It's tough to get back up. C.D. Lamb not being in there changes a lot for their offense because he, he can do everything. So I'll just take TCU and pray. It also depends on what Jalen Hurts shows up, because we saw, as Brandon said, the good, the bad, and the ugly with Jalen Hurts. But the beautiful irony is that he had to be really good in order for them to win that game. Do you think that he has a bounce back game? What are you doing? You are there? ferociously what? doodling. I'm just doodling. Are you mad? Are you mad? Are you That's mad? how he prepares yeah. himself. He was doing people. like when no, you do I, that. You do no, like this. Like Your therapist I'm, said doodle. I don't. I can't afford therapy. I'm from Mississippi. We don't believe in bullshit ass therapy. Yeah, yeah, mental health buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. how you were assaulting people. I haven't assaulted anybody. That's because you're doodling. You built a house, yeah. and then you just said, yeah. uh, you, you start adorable. doodling the second you said I was right adorable. for the second time. No, I've been time. doodling the whole time, but yeah. I'm more furiously doodling right now. Correct. Okay. I'm, I'm figuring out a way out of this. Don't worry. Yeah. So are we going to see the good Jalen Hurts or not? Uh, listen, he was, he was terrible in the first half. He was good, I guess, in the second half. It was a very steady comeback. He still didn't make any throws, but he was able to, to play with his legs and was able to move the ball. It was the full Jalen Hurts experience. Everything the good about him you saw, everything bad about him you saw. He is a winner. There it is. He is a winner, and okay. I think we'll see the best version of him against TCU. Okay. I agree with that, but I also think it's way too many points. Oklahoma's is that okay, Dave? Yeah, I, and I will say, I mean, the defense, he, yeah, he led the comeback, but the defense kept giving him the ball. They had a big turnover. He's lucky he was in the position to lead that comeback. Stop writing the house. <laughs>
ferocious. I mean, yeah, it's like uh, he's if not even you looking up. Knew that you harpooned yourself. I didn't harpoon and ruin anymore. your argument and set yourself back and your personal brand back light years. I doodle too. I haven't set. This has been a great week for my brand. Mm -hmm. Fantastic week. Probably the best week outside mm -hmm. of April when you took me out of Mississippi. Thank mm -hmm. you for that. Well, speaking of harpooning yourself, we're going to go to Tricky or Tough because that's another semantics battle that we have here on this show. So, again, it's ranked teams going on the road versus non-ranked teams. We're going to start with number 10, Minnesota, favored by 13 and a half at Northwestern, a noon kick. Oh, tricky that's or easy. Tough. That's tricky. That's so tricky. But Northwestern's terrible. North, but it's still we're talking tricky. about just going to It's still tricky, Dave. You know it is. You know it is. Yeah, 11 a.m. in Evanston. You hate Northwestern because you've lost so much money You know it, no, it no, is, no. Dave. It, it is traditionally it is. tricky. It's you nothing just, They're so bad. Nothing. But they, it's still tricky. <laughs> it's that like, even makes it even more tricky. Yeah, it's 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 a tricky spot throughout you, the years. Would but you it's be? Not tricky no, this but, 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 but uh, Coach like a, Fitz getting those guys. No, they can't get that. The maybe for a quarter. No, they're coming no, off. No. They're coming off two ranked opponents. That's what makes it tricky. But the fact they get to go to Northwestern is helping them well, out. This, this is, is neither the, tricky this nor is the tough. worst Northwestern team we've seen Correct. in ten years. In a long time. I still agree with you, Dan. I think it's a tricky place to play. It is. And Always. Minnesota. Trickiest. They, last week they lost. They kind of lost out on the college football playoff, so it's tricky. Ah, not really. Uh, not if they win they out. They can still control it. They control their own destiny. Yep. They win out. They win they the do. Big Ten. If they win yeah, out, they will if go. If they win out, but they're not going to beat Ohio State. Well, that's they're not going to beat Wisconsin. Anything. So, yeah. okay. They're not even going to go to India. Yeah. So, number twenty-one, Oklahoma State at West Virginia. We were there earlier this year. Oklahoma State favored by seven, and we know how weird Morgantown can get. Tricky, tricky or yeah, tough? Yeah, I think it's tricky. Morgan, it's not a tricky a tough place, place for me. It's tricky. Oh, this is the first time all, all of you guys have agreed. This is the first time. Look at that. Yeah, all, look all at that. Big F has tricky over there, too. Tricky, tricky place. It, I, it I used to be tough. I have downgraded it from tough to tricky. Yeah. Dude, with Dana, night games, I might have said tough. tough. But yeah. it's tricky. Yeah. West Virginia is playing better. Yeah. West Virginia has Oklahoma won a couple State's games. Well. West Virginia yeah. beat Kansas State they on the road last week. beat Kansas State, yeah. Yeah, that was a shocker. That was a big point I can touch on this point show. Doug. That was tricky. Uh, the last one, number seven, Utah, favored by 22 and a half at Arizona. Neither. 10 p.m. game. Well, who cares? Kevin Sumlin's our coach. That's I know. Who cares? I, Arizona done, used to be tricky, not anymore. But not even close. So we didn't have anybody that was tough this week. Oh. Yeah, the problem yeah. is, is there's not very many ranked teams going on the road. So she's tricky late. Tough, yeah, it's not well, a it's, slate. you know what? I mean, I'll blame the SEC. Yes, no, it's 100. percent The SEC doing, doing, doing this for no. okay. you. Yeah, you right. know exactly what I'm going to say. SEC doing a non-conference game this late in the season is stupid. The only yeah. game in the SEC. Do so you that guys matters. depend on us that much? No, but it's no. The the Penn State Ohio State is going to be a great game. We already got our great game. You guys got nothing. That's what we don't have anything this week. Right. right. Well, so chip so, in a little. So, so Pac-10 has one. Oregon, Arizona State. You yep. pay attention to that. Big you 12 has one. I mean, two that you Oregon, Arizona attention. State. I mean. It's a game you can pay attention to. Well, just well, Georgia Texas A&M. How about to say? We just might as well go Ooh. back into the Georgia right, Texas A&M. Yeah. Texas A&M's yeah, right. Uh, Texas A&M. Yeah. Yeah. But you guys playing all these like Sisters of the Poor in the middle of November? It's I hate so it. stupid. I hate are you it. telling it's me that Mississippi State's game against Abilene Christian doesn't yeah, mean right. anything? Hey, you guys are gonna probably put it up. Be like, hey, did uh, Joe Moorhead six wins? They're gonna brag about it. Oh, I think six wins in seven years in a row. These were his last two games. Yeah, you guys get rid of the bats. Yeah. Uh, it's dangerous to play there. Yeah. The, so uh, how about a rabies game? Thank God, I bet it. I yeah. bet it. Actually, thank God Tua got hurt and got, went to the hospital. <laughs> we got, him out, there. got yeah. him out of there. Yeah. I actually won on that because I wasn't going to sit out a rabies game. I wasn't nope. going to bet on Mississippi State. I had, I had Alabama Did as well. it give you yeah. concerns? Like, you don't want to bet on the team that has bats in their corner? I, no, no, I, I just like, I, it, this like, is a joke, joke of an organization. You can't be on the same team as rabies. That's what you were no, saying. No, it's you guys are what? not even a real program. I mean, anymore. bats are a legitimate species of animals. They're out there. I They're in the world. It's not my fault they were in our stadium. They're all in Starkville, apparently. A&M used to have a lot of bats the old Kyle Field, but we never had like a high rabies alert. Somebody else had a bat sign last week. We weren't the only ones. I wasn't uh, A&M. They had no, a bat no, sign. I mean, I don't so, no, I mean, that's no, legit. Bees. Somebody a &M, had a, a &M, bat sign. A&M used to have bats at their old stadium, but then they found money. And we got weren't the only ones that had bats. I know if I was a bat. And I was talking to my bat friends. It's like, where can we go to be safe? Mm -hmm. The first place I would say would be Starkville. Starkville was. <laughs> there's a bunch of trash that no one ever takes out in Starkville, yep. Mississippi. Not. Well, it's not a coincidence. You have bats. Yeah. That have rabies. I want. That's the difference. Never mind. What? But he wants, oh, I you know, know. He got bit I'll by tell it. He got bit he got by that. No, no, he didn't get bit I by went, I went on spring break once, and when I came back, we left a trash can on the uh, on the deck, and I removed it. 
bats flew everywhere. Was, that, was vacation in Starkville? No, the vacation was uh, Panama City. Very nice. Yeah. I would see like Starkville Daytona kids Beach. being like, "No, we're like they actually no, spring break in Starkville." Yeah, we're going to no. David Buster's yeah. in Starkville. Yeah. We don't have a David Buster's in Starkville. Did you know That's he once right. took a girl on a first date to Walmart? That's true. That's What'd you get? We went to Arby's afterwards. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Arby's. <laughs> I, I like Arby's. Yeah, I had a chicken bacon Swiss. It's delicious. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but the SEC does have a cupcake schedule. I absolutely hate it. Outside of, and this potentially is going to be a blowout game as well, but Texas A&M at number four, Georgia. Georgia favored by 13. The total at 44. A&M still looking for that signature win against Jimbo. They do have the toughest schedule in the country, though. You have to give them some credit with that, but I don't really, as an Aggie, I just really don't have a do whole lot have of Do they have a tough schedule? They have the, have the number one toughest Big schedule Adam, Make sure this is on my pick'em card. I like Georgia here. I love Georgia. Yeah, Price they do. Like, Make sure that's added. It, it is a fact that they have the toughest schedule in the country. They have Georgia left, they have LSU left, and their only losses are to Alabama, Clemson, and Auburn. The problem is they got killed by all of them, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, um, they 24 didn't play. 10 to, to Clemson. I think they lost by. We were there. We were there. To Auburn, yeah. 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 No, I mean, none of them have been like. like yeah, none of them have I'll been. I'll take Georgia. I, I, no one shocked me if they stay in the number. I don't think it'll be close, regardless. Even if they win, it'll be double digits. I don't know how you can take A&M here. Do you look at the game last week against Auburn and see that Auburn almost came back and won that game at all as concern for Georgia, Dan? I think Auburn's pretty good. That's the other thing. He, this fucking guy's bragging about <laughs> that that pass that the fucking kid oh. missed going in for that well, comeback. But you know, Inexcusable. But I told you the reason they're not they're not going to win these games is because their quarterback sucks. Yeah, but nobody and could that's predict what happened. That, nobody could predict missing that pass. I told you that it was going to happen. That was a really bad I've pass. I've told you all year I mean, what they, they were going to do. That, like, I yeah, that was like a five-yard pass. And he missed it. He's not any good. But, but, uh, yeah. You don't have to be good to complete that. I know, yeah, but he, he is really he's, bad. He's he figures out way to mess plays up. He's very bad. To answer your question, Casey, I think I think there is a little element of Kirby Smart and what they're doing at Georgia where they get a little conservative. It also happens when you have a great defense. Yeah. Yep. When you have yeah. a great defense, sometimes you, you say, hey, look, we can win this game with our defense. Let's, let's make sure that we don't turn the ball over. We'll run it, run it, run it. Uh, Jake Fromm would be so why, much better somewhere else. That's why I, yeah, don't, I don't trust be. Georgia with his number, 13. Uh, listen, but, they, I mean, they covered la yesterday, they covered the week before. That's, that's fine. The week before. I just, they're so conservative. I just, I just don't like them with that number. I like the under a little bit better. I don't know that Kellen Mond can score on this defense very much at all. Yeah, I like Isaiah Spiller's been good for a and but, I mean, that's... They can, I mean, it's the best Martin. defense in the SEC. Could be yeah. the best defense in the country of Georgia. I agree. Although A&M did beat South Carolina, and South Carolina beat Georgia. That's transitive property, Casey. We don't Obviously, do that. Obviously, I, I know that A&M's not going to win this game. I do think it's too who many is, points. Who is Abilene Christian beaten? I don't know their schedule. <laughs> Let's find that out so we can knock some. Not sure some about their schedule. Knocks on that belt, there, big boy. Give me, a, give me a win. Give me a mm -hmm. transitive win. Yep. I think Georgia's going to win, but I think A&M is going to cover. The biggest game of the week, obviously the one everybody is talking about, number eight, Penn State, going to number two, Ohio State. Ohio State favored by 18 and a half, the total at 57 and a half, and Chase Young is back. Obviously, Michigan is coming up, so this is a different week for Ohio State. Normally, it's not as big of a game before Michigan. So, Dave, you're an Ohio State guy right now. You want them to win the national championship. What do you well, think? I will be rooting for Michigan versus Ohio State, and knowing the way I operate, this will be the year that Michigan wins because mm -hmm. we won't go to the playoff anyways, so I'll just be sitting there with my dick in my hand and my one <laughs> win and my future bet gone. This is the first tough game Ohio State's played. I think Penn State will stay within the number. No. I mean, Wisconsin was a good win. Yeah, but Jack Cohn is, and I look, Jackie Heisman's my guy, but he yeah. can't move around as much. Like This is the first time they're playing a mobile quarterback. Okay. Who, and then Wisconsin was a different team a little bit. They had already lost to Illinois by that point. Um, I think it'll be within the number. I think Ohio State wins. Fox, again. Does Fox have a night game? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But their biggest game of the week is They the always, game. they like the noon schedule. Yeah, right. So, make so night out of right. I know they're trying to make noon the thing. But they have night games, yeah. Right. They so, had a lot. Who had So uh, is it TCU, Oklahoma? Is that yeah, their night game? Be, yeah, So, but you have to look at the entire slate and be like, oh, we can hold the entire country captive with our game and put this at night. This sucks they're trying to make big, noon. big nude. Uh, because I get it. You may not want to go against them later, but here you, you own it. This, right. It's, it sucks. It's robbing us. Game. Yeah. Did yeah. you see Urban Meyer trying to lobby all the students to go to their pregame show and not go to college game day? Well, they're trying to boycott college yeah. game day, yeah. Which is crazy. Gone. We should have gone, too, and just really. No, Ohio State fans think they've been getting immoral and mm -hmm. dishonest coverage from ESPN. They're, Which they're is like, how can you, boycotting. how can something be immoral when you are immoral yourself? Right. They are the cradle of immorality. Right. Urban Meyer is one of the greatest. What do you mean the cradle of immorality? 
I know just, what you're getting to. I mean, some things that... Every, but I'm saying everything that's happened, we cut it off right when it happened. No, that's what I mean. I'm saying there's, there's, there's no... Back, like, there's years. no... What there are you... I mean, Urban Meyer no knew about no it real time. No one involved with this football team. Urban Meyer just casually decided to cut it off in real time. How And how can you say no one involved? Ryan Day was on the staff. And Urban Meyer saw the text in real time. Okay. But he's not involved You don't think wives talk? So you mean this year? none of their wives talk. Off. I'm saying I'm saying this year there is no one involved in this team that had so anything to do year, with that. Okay. Yeah. So everything new, in the past doesn't a, matter. It's a new day. It's a new I day. From the first God, episode, it. It's a new the day. Show just this everyone, season. Everyone on the day. staff from the old staff is still there, but it's a new day. No, 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 no. It's not. Ryan Day is taking control. Like I said, it's a new day. I said right. it the first day of the show when I wasn't even sitting over here. I was in the middle of there. Real time then. What happened this year? What do you mean? I'm saying You're like, we cut it off the second we find out about it. I'm saying, yeah, Zach Smith was gone. That was clear. And then Urban is not. But Zach Smith was on the roster. Urban Meyer saw those texts and the lies. He didn't fire him in real time. Yeah, time. Urban Meyer got listen, caught in Urban, his own listen, lie. Urban Meyer made an extremely poor judgment bringing so when him back. So cut it off in real time? But I'm saying, right but I'm saying he, see, what Urban did was, at the time, Actually, the only he had a guy that he liked. He was trying to help him out. The guy was a scumbag. But you said, no, right, no, Urban no, Meyer made, Urban Meyer right made, when it happens. But, Dude, but I said, Ur when, when we started this whole conversation, Urban Meyer made a extremely ma had an extremely massive lap of judgment. By even having him on the staff in the first place, but he didn't cut. He did, actually, he didn't the, the biggest criticism of Urban Meyer is that he did not cut right. it off he in got, real time, and that his got, wife knew from yeah. his. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm saying they tried to help, it didn't no, work, and they're no, gone. No, 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 no he did though. He did. He, he no, they tried to cover, to cover it up. They tried to basically shame a victim. Remember, they asked him on, and he like lied basically. Yeah, and he, he basically tried to, to quiet victims. I wouldn't say that. He did not try to quiet But you did victims. say we, we cut it off right when we find out about it. No, no, no. I'm saying that no one that was involved in that is currently involved with That's the team right true. now. That's not true. There's a whole no, staff is but, but I'm saying that, but there's a difference between being on but, the staff but, but, and being but, involved. But, but if they all knew <laughs> when they were on the staff. You can be on the staff and not be involved. That's how, like, so you, well, like everyone's aware. Let me, let me say this. Okay. There's been no major crimes against humanity this season, as far as we know. Mm -hmm. That's 100% correct. As far as we know. That's All right. we know. That is 100% correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Big Ed, how come your team didn't cover against Rutgers last week? Listen, the Rutgers kids, they worked yes, really hard. I'm really glad they had something right. to hang their, hang their hat on at the end of the season. They, you know, they covered the spread. God bless them. We had covered seven, eight weeks in a row. They got one on us. Good for Rutgers. God bless them. Did we all make our picks? Did no, no, we just did, but he started crying about it. Yeah. Yeah. He well, hijacked us. No, I'm, by the oh, way, yeah, yeah. By I had Brandon, to Brandon was so happy while that was happening. He was just sitting here smiling because oh, he was taking off the hands. He, he the actually show. finished the fence on the <laughs> I got a, I got a <laughs> sidewalk now. Yeah. It's pretty okay. nice. Well, while you were doodling, what did you pick in this game? I don't know that I believe in Penn State anymore. They gave up 27 oh. to Indiana. Indiana's pretty good. Indiana's not bad. They're seven and three. But they gave they had the second half against Michigan. Michigan's a lot better right now. And then they didn't. They gave up 31 to Minnesota. That's why I think the over here. If Minnesota scoring 31, Indiana scoring 27, I think Ohio State's got 45 to 50 in them. The over today. Isn't Indiana playing Michigan this week? Yes, yeah. seven yeah. and three. If you guys think Indiana's pretty good, it doesn't make I mean, this they're, list. They're they're decent. They're not like they're, they're seven not and three. They're, they're good for Indiana. I mean, yeah, Ohio ranked. State Ohio State beat them by 41 on the road. Okay. Whatever. whatever. Uh, Dan. I think? like Ohio State. Yeah. I like the over, too. Yeah. Uh, the over makes a lot of sense. 57 and a half. Uh, Ohio State's been scoring. I don't know what they're averaging. It's between 45 and 50, though. Quick rant. I don't like the Penn State quarterback at all. He's not Clifford? Good. No. Clifford? Yeah. He's, 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 all he does, all he does, he's, he's whining about getting death threats on social media, and he keeps deleting and reinstalling his Twitter account and Instagram. I don't like that. Either keep your social media or don't keep it, but don't complain and reinstate. And, and yeah, people fucking say crazy shit. Deal with it. Either don't be on social media or be on social or media. Or block people. Rico Bosco. Sean Clifford should call Rico Bosco. He blocks Oh, he blocks Brandon? I blocked a couple people. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, there are people, people that, that tell me, me that not to go home and beat my kids. I block them, and yes, I almost blocked. He blocked the guy. <laughs> yes, he <laughs> blocked the guy this weekend who claimed that Brandon Walker hurt Tua, <laughs> and he didn't want to get the narrative I started. He didn't want to get the narrative started. I have he seen you Tua. when you're upset, and one it time. frightens me. And I try to just to keep it you did out of it. Just keep drawing your house. He frightens me. back. Yeah, he can't draw for kids. It's his moment in the spotlight. It's one blade trivia. One blade is the one tool that will let you trim, edge, shave any length of facial hair with a single pass. It's easy to use. It's versatile. One blade does it all. We are on a streak of your questions being ruined, Brandon. So let's see 
if we can get it out with one question this Hashtag time. One Blade Trivia. Last week's winner, Frankie Ballenbacher from Philadelphia. He answered the question, since 2000, the number one overall pick has come from non-Power 5 teams three times. Eric Fisher, David Carr, Alex Smith from Utah when they were non-Power 5. This week's question, the Rose Bowl is the oldest bowl game in existence. In 1935, they added three more bowls. What were those bowl games? The Rose Bowl is the oldest bowl in existence in 1935. Cotton. They added, that is incorrect, they added three really? more bowls. What are those bowls? Orange. Fiesta. No. Orange no. is right. Fiesta is incorrect. Orange is right. Yeah, orange is clear. Orange is, is correct, yes. I would have said cotton. Um, Sugar. Cotton came in 19... Sugar. There's two. Cotton came in 1937, two years later. Gasper Lawnmower. Wasn't the Gasper Lawnmower. Wasn't the peach, so... All right, so I got two. Yeah. Does that require another question? Or? No, we're good. No, no, okay. no. Um, the Sun Bowl. All right, next question. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, next question. <laughs> That's a great bowl, by the way. I love that bowl because it's oh, always it's sneaky it's, cold. It's, yeah, it's so sneaky cold. cold. Yeah. It's awesome. That's that's where that's where Mr. Trubisky became a bear. Who was the, the Sun Bowl? He that lost is... in the Sun Bowl, Who and that was, was enough for man? Ryan Pace. Who was the first man to win the Heisman Trophy, a national championship, and a Super Bowl? Who was the first man to win a Heisman Trophy, a national championship wow. in college football, and a Super Bowl? Wow. That's a that Starbuck. is wow. going to... No, he did not win a national title. Wow. He won the other two. Mm. That is going to be our question, because mm. I don't see this being answered. Hashtag mm. one play oh, trivia. Submit your answer on Twitter. First to get it right wins. You can win merch. You can win uh, Phillips Norelco stuff. Marcus Allen. Incorrect. That's a good question. Lynn Swan. No. That, All is, right. that is not well, right. I took two questions this week. Big Ev, let's go to viral moments of the week. All right, viral moments. The first one of the week. Kirby Smart, Georgia, coming off the huge win over, Al or, excuse me, over Auburn. Kirby Smart, I think, I think Kirby Smart got his swagger back. He's dancing with the team after the game to Young Thug. He's talking about, how about them fucking dogs? Mm -hmm. I think Georgia's got their swagger back. I agree. I told him, how about them fucking dogs? That's what I told him. I, 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 I love the quote. I just don't like it. I don't like it. Go ahead. What do you not like about it? I just, look, I just don't like what it. What do you like? Because he changed the cost of doing business. Mm -hmm. I, I think he's going to keep that roster, which might be the best roster in the country, from winning a national title. I don't think he's a very good coach, and I just don't like him. I think it's just cool to be able to say dogs. D that, how about them fucking how dogs? About the yeah, fucking go dogs. dogs. Yeah, that was good. Go dogs? Yeah. It's not bad. Georgia, being Georgia fans seems cool. They even have that song. Like, they got a country song just about Georgia football. Dogs will have their day or something. It's great. Country I don't song. even know that. I don't even know that song. It's very good. Every dog will have his day or something. Very good. Not a big country music fan. Really? That's yeah. surprising. That's profiling. You're not a country music fan and from Mississippi? It's also profiling. Well, no, I know I'm it not. is, but it's a legitimate question. No. I'm from Texas. I can ask no. you that. The only music I listen to is rap from 1998 to 2001. Nice. Solid three years. Don't hate wow. that. All right. Big F, moment number two. All right, moment number two is... The yeah, Rutgers okay. cheerleader, this went crazy viral, who accidentally tweeted for Ohio State touchdown at the game. Honestly, what it really made me think was, I don't think there's a more demoralizing job in just, like, life than being a Rutgers football cheerleader. Mm -hmm. Where's like, the cheerleader like, who cheered? Yeah, where right, is... Watch, you'll see the clap. That's pretty weak. But I'm saying, you know, so oh, he... Oh, no, he got embarrassed. Oh, yeah, he that was yeah, a real clap. That was a he real knew. excitement. He knew. Yeah, yeah, had he not reacted like that afterwards, I would have said it was just kind of eh. But the fact that he tried to hide it is... Shout out Rutgers. Were you See, just I, I feel bad for them because all they like they're cheerleaders. All they want to do is cheer, and they just don't really get to. It feels a little like That's you were kind of just digging for something to show from the Ohio State game. That actually does well, feel no, like that. I, this video had over agree. three million views. That's real viral. The most viral one of the week. Okay. I'd agree. That's, real, that's numbers. All right, moment number three. Moment number three is the South Carolina punter made it maybe the most like spontaneous on the spot move I've ever seen a punter make. To do a fake to pick up a first down, that definitely was not a Whoa. design fake. That was sick. That, that was, was nice. no design fake. Oh, that's a great play. That was he just made a move. It was good. They still got, I got their asses kicked. I got stressed at the end that he was going to start to slide a little too early. Oh, that was so what a yeah, move. Yeah, it is. I mean, it was what beautiful. a move. A&M special teams doing A&M special teams things. They won the game. I know by a lot. Doesn't matter. We still make fun of that. Big Ev moment number th four. And and the last one. Michigan State's players wearing their helmets on the bus to the game. This worked. See, for me, in my Maybe opinion, I just think I think it, it sounds good in theory, but when you're in a spot where Michigan State's been losing just every single game, 
this to me is the uh, D'Antonio movie is just desperate. It seemed to me, it came off to me as desperate. Yeah. It made you nervous, right, Dave? It did make me a little nervous. Not me. And then they scored <laughs> quick, too. I'm the hardball whistle. I mean, I, I bet on Michigan, but it did make me kind of nervous. No. I was, this is, this. But I mean, just to wear the helmets and then lose by a million points. <laughs> that <like>. I liked. <laughs> That's a great tweet by whoever did that. Mm -hmm. Dan, do you think Speaking that D'Antonio will uh, get fired? Okay, I give up. Oh. You win. Uh, no, I think they'll probably make him fire all the friends that he has on that staff. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, I think he's basically just hired all his friends to run the offense, which has been terrible for a very long time. He's one of those guys that he is the program. So they probably won't fire him, but they'll make him fire everyone else. When you get embarrassed by your rival like that, it's just not great. Yeah. Not great? The, <clears throat> yeah. The Big Ten is unique. I think you, you guys have a lot of pro, several programs that have a coach who's like entrenched and he is the program, like Ferentz at Iowa. Yeah. Could never oh, get yeah. fired. Pat he, Fitzgerald Northwestern's kind of gotten that way. Yep. And then D'Antonio. It just feels like Michigan State football is Mark D'Antonio mm -hmm. and, and vice versa, even though they've just been disappointing this year. You found oh, the yeah, song. country music. It's a pretty good song. Who sings it? Corey Smith. Oh, Corey Smith's pretty good. Who's Corey Smith? Corey Smith is a Texas country artist. I've never hated something the way I hate this. <laughs> you haven't even heard Makes it you yet. want to be a Georgia fan. Go dogs. I'm going to them fucking Corey Smith is, is pretty good, Brandon. Makes me never want to visit Athens. Athens is beautiful. It's a wonderful it place. Is. Go dogs. Great place. Too. Go dogs. Amazing Go dogs. How long are we going to let this play? That's oh, I bet tough. you do. Yeah. That's tough. Yeah. Well, but I mean, you can't. Right. That's that's I wish tough. it was 81. Yeah, I wish it was 81. They want to win. Right, that's, but like, that's bad. That's like Tennessee when they said it's feeling like 1995. 98. 98. 98 when I was there. It, it's not. No. I shut it off. It's a good song. Look it up. I will. Thank but yeah, you. Tell us about the Game Face Challenge. I remember still, we have the Phillips Miracle Game Face Challenge. Hacks that Game Face. Send in, shave your team's logo on your chest, head, body, whatever you got. For a chance to be featured on the show. All right, it's time for the points bet locks of the week. And if you're in New Jersey, sign up for points bet with code Barstool. And when you deposit your first ten dollars, you get a hundred dollars in bonus bets. Fellas, as a collective group, we went nine and one last week. It's pretty good. Whoa! Yeah, and who was, lost? Yeah, I don't know who lost. I won. I, I know that. I won. I, I I went three and one. Okay, so Big Ev is the, the oh. sole loss. Yeah. I was the loser. Three oh, and I one. I really didn't know. I was just yeah, asking. yeah, I didn't. I didn't know either. I just knew I won. Dave, what are you going with this week? You're five and eleven. Uh, but hot. I like BC, Notre Dame over 64. I was all over Notre Dame destroying Navy last week. That was like stealing. I was all over Baylor covering with ease last week. I had everything. I've seen the board very clearly. I will take uh, the over 64 here. Dan? All right. I got Temple plus 10 and a half. I think that's going to be a close game at Cincinnati. And then I'm also going to add Navy SMU over 67. All right, I got three. I'm taking advantage of two ranked teams in Alabama who will not be pumped to play this week. Two is out. Alabama's just going to limp through. Bama, Western Carolina, under 61. Alabama has no incentive to do anything there. Samford, plus 48 and a half I, against I don't Auburn. Wanna, I'm not trying to be a jerk because I've already defeated you so soundly. But oh, this is odd. I would argue that Alabama to Dave for a actually second. has a ton to play for because they got to prove they can play without Tua. Mm -hmm. What do you prove against Western Carolina? And you win by if you've got a backup quarterback after your first quarterback got hurt. Because if they struggle, hurt, people are going to then say it's because two is not there. You got Auburn, you got Auburn next week. you got to get everybody off the field. you got to get them off the field as quickly as you can. They're going to be playing third stringers by the third quarter. That's what's going to happen. Bama, Western Carolina, under 61. Samford, plus 48 and a, 48 and a half against Auburn. <clears throat> and last one, Minnesota, minus 13 and a half over Northwestern. If Saban does leave Mac Jones in for too long, are people going to give him shit like they did last week with Tua? If he gets hurt, they will, yeah. sure. If you have to play your third string quarterback against Auburn, he absolutely would get in trouble, although Mac Jones is not any good. In so. trouble? Well, well in was trouble. The principal's office? Trouble's not really a good word there. Who's going who's gonna... to... There's not a person in the state of Alabama yeah. that can get Nick Saban in yeah. trouble. They are mad at him, though. Or some people. You I can't mean, be yeah. mad. It's like the Belichick no, thing. It's like he does the same thing every game. Yeah, it's definitely not his fault. Big Ev, what are your locks? You right, I've got. Oh, I've I got said little... trouble. I, I didn't mean to say trouble. I said trouble. <laughs> Obviously, he wouldn't get in trouble. Okay. Go back Nobody's going to gonna find him. Apology accepted. I did. I did. Again. I never saw him. Sorry. Put a car in the driveway. All right. I've got, it's only a two bedroom ranch. It, I've got Louisville yeah, well, at home over Q's. I mean, DeVito's banged up. I feel like Q's is just a disaster right now. Louisville's playing well. Give me Louisville. I've got Illinois plus 16 going to Iowa. I know Kinnick is just a brutally tough place to play, but Iowa is a team. They never blow teams out. Illinois has just been – they've just keeping it within the number every week. Give me Illinois. 
Give me Georgia minus 13 in the blowout. And give me Ohio State because I'm telling you. Oh. I, I'm, I'm, listen to me, though. My seven. As, so, as someone, as an Ohio State alum, this stadium, Ohio Stadium the Shoe, is going to be absolutely buzzing. At noon? With Chase, yes, yes. With Chase Young back, this is a blowout. An absolute blowout. They are not in the same. Penn State is not in the same class as Ohio State. I have a bone to pick with your fan base. Go ahead, Brandon. Please. I have a question before she gets to her bone to pick. I know earlier in the season we buried a team, all right? And I'm not worried about Penn State. I think Ohio State might cover. Mm -hmm. Are you getting more worried about Michigan than you were three I've weeks said ago? For, I've said for three weeks Michigan's the game I'm most worried about. This game's starting to round into form like this could be a stumbling block for Ohio no, State. I'm, no, I've said, I've said for weeks that, this, that Michigan is the game I'm most worried about. But I'm also, in the back of my mind, I think we're going to win the game, obviously. But I still think that, I think that if we lost to Michigan, we still could get in the playoff. What? You're not even going to go to the Big Ten Championship? Yes, we would. Yeah, they would. Yeah, we would. And that's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's why. That's why. Like, I'm. I am worried about it in terms of. That I think that's the game we're most likely to lose. But if we, regardless, I still think a, we get in the playoff. Uh, insane debate. I mean, I was watching college football a little with the ESPN. They're so stupid. You know, stupid. Um, who's a good looking? Jesse Palmer. He said if Minnesota beat Ohio State in the Big Ten Championship. He would send Ohio State what? to the playoffs. Well, home, home, but would that be if you're saying we beat Michigan though? So undefeated Ohio State loses to Let, Minnesota. Yes. One loss. No, Minnesota no, would go. Ohio State should still yeah. definitely be in. What? what? Why? No, Minnesota. They lost to Minnesota. You got one loss, Minnesota. But, saying, one, just, one. but how dominant we've been all year. We lose. Yeah, he's saying, you he's lose saying Minnesota beats you. To the team that is going in. Minnesota but takes they lost spot. to Iowa. Okay, but, but they you beat lost you. to Minnesota. It does, but I'm saying you've seen the committee. It doesn't matter. Oh, we lost yeah, to Penn State the one year. They're not going to lose to that team, man, over a team they yeah. lost That's to. Jesse Paul Yes, we, I'm, t right. I'm telling you, whether you agree with it or not, if we went out, we lose to Minnesota. Which one? Which one? I. We will not lose. To Minnesota. They don't we put the non-conference champion it would be in over a conference champion Minnesota, the conference. Minnesota, Ohio beat. State, each with one loss. Minnesota beats them for the Big Ten championship. And then you take the team they beat. That would be insane. I'm saying they've Ohio done it in the past. State, yeah, they've yeah. done it. Ohio, the Ohio State would have one loss. They did it. I'm saying they've done it before. Whether you agree with it or not, they would do it. In 2016. Yes. yes. In That's what I'm saying. It's happened but, already. It but, literally happened. No, no, no. no. But they Penn did, State they, didn't win yes, it. They, did. they, they beat us. Yes, yes, yes they, they did. did. Yeah. Yeah. I was they at the game in Penn State. They beat us. Yeah, but they had more losses, right? Yeah. Penn State had two losses. Yes. So it wasn't even. Correct. But I still don't think you should be allowed to do that. And it devalues the conference champion. But if Minnesota and Ohio State each had one loss, and Minnesota beats Ohio State, the but, then, but then you still have to look at the body. Like we just had just been so no, dominant all if year. Minnesota beat you in. in no, no, they will not get over us. No, no wait, chance. Look at the body. No chance. Look, look at the body. Well, they're not going to beat us. But look at the body. They, they are not in the same class as us. They will not beat well, us. If they do, the, the, the body of work. Minnesota would have a win over Penn State. Ohio State would have a win over Penn State. Minnesota would have a win over Wisconsin. Ohio State would have a win over Wisconsin. The only difference But then also, we'll see at the end. Look at those wins. We dominated it with Wisconsin. That was stupid. If they do that, 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 if they do that I'm yes. boycotting college football yes, forever. Agreed. agreed. Stupid. No, I'm, we'd get it. Yeah. Whether you agree with it or not, we'd get This show's so, dead because I'm off of it and Big Cat's off I'm of it. I'm off of it. I'm done. I think the show would so be That would be insane. Big Ev, I think the You and Jesse Palmer agreeing on this is tough. Because there's just no way they would do that. Yes, no. they My, would. I've no. had no. Thing, let's let's go to the next thing. No We've been all dumb the arguing. metrics, all the numbers that the committee no, loves, we're number arguing. one in everything. Yeah, but you like, lost. All time. You, you lost, lost to the Minnesota. PJ Fleck rode the boat all over We're saying this argument. We are not losing. We will never lose to Minnesota. I will guarantee we do not lose to Minnesota. That's not what we're saying, though. Like, but again, but the, the hypothetical thing. is if Minnesota beats yes. Ohio State, they would get it, not who will win that game. We all agree Ohio State will win that we game. We do agree with that. We, we are. Think it was yes. to happen. Don't so know we why. all agree on that. We're saying okay. hypothetically, if Minnesota were to beat Ohio State, Minnesota should get in over Ohio State. I don't think they would. You should send him to work for College Game Day. Oh, I'm telling you, I don't think, I'm I really, look, I mean, but why look at, even play the game? But I'm saying, look at Minnesota right now. They're ranked what? No, but why no, play but the I'm game? Saying, look at it right now. Penn State, isn't Penn State right now ranked ahead of Minnesota? Yes, because Minnesota yes. lost most recently. But I'm saying, but I'm saying, Penn State beat Minnesota. Right, and if I Minnesota, mean, beats, me, Minnesota, and if beat Minnesota Penn State. beats Wisconsin, Northwestern, Wisconsin, and Ohio State, they will be but ranked I'm saying, ahead we'll of Penn beat State. Beat all them by way more by larger margins. Well, then but why? why is this, so, so your point is what? Then why even play that game? 
Michigan, Ohio State, Minnesota, why? But play? I, I would agree in a sense because I think we just been, we just <laughs> no. have been so dominant all why, year. Why play the Big Ten championship? It, why play it if who it doesn't matter who wins? You're just taking Ohio State no matter so what. So it's not even head to head. So actually, we shouldn't even play the college football championship. It should just be Ohio should. State beat people by yeah. more. By the way, yeah. that's why we'd have to boycott college football. Correct. Do no. Correct. No. There's no way that happens. We would still deserve it. Guys, stop arguing. Stop arguing. It's just not becoming of you guys. Shouldn't argue on the show. Thank you, Brandon. Uh, quickly, not that anything matters at this point, but I'm going to take Tennessee plus five at Missouri. Tennessee's won three games in a row. Missouri is 0 and five in their last five games against the spread. That's More guaranteed. importantly, Dan saw a Tennessee shirt on the jumbotron while watching the, the, Bulls. the Bulls game while he was oh, deciding really? who to take yeah. on Tennessee. I was I was doing oh. research on Monday night and I was watching the Bulls game. And if you have Locked league it. pass, it's the jumbotron feed. Mm. Okay. And as I was looking, literally as I was looking at the game, they showed yeah. a guy wearing a Tennessee sweatshirt. Bulls Bucks. In Chicago. That's so, an auto bit. So this is just, Dunzo. I mean, I picked Hand a good luck. Okay. Hand of God. All right. I'm locking it right now. You heard it here first. All right, points bet. Also, talking house. about that Penn State Ohio State game, points bet has an exclusive booster for that game. Plus 120 for total touchdowns, over six and a half boosted from minus 110. So make sure you jump on that. Easy We're going to get to Philip Snorelko top tens. Philip Snorelko has the most innovative electric grooming tools to help you do. What feels right. So for the last couple weeks, this is where everything starts to go downhill. And I don't get to get, do my top ten. So we're going to start with my top ten so oh. we can end on the argument That's as we quite normally selfish. do. Uh, it's, it's selfish that you've just hijacked the show a couple weeks in a row and I haven't gotten to share my top tens. I'd say that this was is my top tens. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Dave, do you have anything to pick on with it? You're usually no, the not guy really. That okay. No. Good? Yeah. LSU, Ohio State, I think 1A, 1B. I think Minnesota above Penn State just because they beat them. OU obviously moves up. And Oregon, Utah will end up playing each other, and we'll see who the best team is. I, I do have a question. Okay. It's not a nitpick, just a question. Well, it's you, your... You put Oregon over Alabama, but not Utah over Alabama. You separated the Pac-12 teams. Is it quality of loss? Because I think that Oregon, if Oregon goes undefeated in the Pac-12, then they are... I mean, I, they haven't lost in conference. Yes. All right. Yeah. Fair enough. Dave, top tens. Uh, so I, it, mine's pretty basic, I think. The one thing maybe people will see is I have Alabama at 10. Um, other than that, I think it's pretty straightforward. Alabama hasn't beaten anybody, and really their loss was, they, it was bigger margin than the game actually felt or ended. Quarterbacks have gone, so I put them at the bottom part of the top ten. Other than that, I think it's pretty basic. Do you think Alabama has any chance of sneaking in the playoffs? I do. I do. Yeah. Even with two hurt? Things have to break right for yeah. them, but, I mean, I think they have a chance. Mm -hmm. Dan? Uh, let me see it. Oh, wait, I have it right here. Yeah, mine's pretty basic, too. LSU, uh, Ohio State, Clemson, Georgia, Oregon, and Utah. So I do have the Pac-12 so teams together. So who's Florida? Who's the two lost Florida over? Uh, Minnesota. Minnesota. Um, as soon as Minnesota lost, I mean, I'm sorry, but Minnesota played no one, and then as soon as they lose, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. They're, they're not in the top ten anymore. So Florida has played a much tougher schedule. They've played closer games against tougher opponents. Uh, and Minnesota had two tough opponents. They beat one, they lost to one. I actually uh, I came down to the same conclusion there at the end, except I did put Minnesota in. I kept Florida at number 11. Uh, I, oh. And then I moved Minnesota to number 9 because they have to be ahead of Penn State. But mm -hmm. there's really no controversy. There's nothing to argue about this week. It's LSU. It's Ohio State. You can do whatever you want with those two. But there you go. I did drop Alabama, too, to 7 behind both Pac-12 teams. And I don't think Alabama gets in. If things break exceptionally right, they can get in, but I don't think they do. Well, and you thought that even before Tua got hurt, too. I, I did. I didn't think they were going to get in before Tua mm -hmm. got hurt. I thought the Pac-12 champion had the best spot. I'm going to be honest. I'm kind of sad there's no arguing about it's where It's pretty Baylor basic is. now. I, I mean, know. they'll have to well, go Well, now that Baylor's up. been exposed, and they're out of the top ten for everybody. Well, well there's a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they were. Because I thought yeah, they were yeah, like a top 50. Right I thought they were a top 50 team. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, and they're, they're yeah, like a top 20 team. Where would you rank Baylor right now? I'd put them at like 15 or 16. Wow. So wait, so they actually after went a up loss, and, they went up. And that's what I, that was my point. Yeah, I know. That's what I was saying. I was right. Last yeah. week? I was not right. You were yeah. not right. Great show. Great show. You're so fucking proud of yourself. I mean, you just. I didn't do shit. You know what you are? You're sideshow Bob stepping on rakes. <laughs> <laughs> like that every single time. Sideshow Bob made a lucrative living. Mm. He did. Big guys finish us up. Are you I mean, mine's pretty much the same as the boss. Dave's actually, except for. I have Bama out of it just because I generally think they're just, they cannot get in. You have Bama I just, all the way out? I'm just saying because of Tua being out, I just can't. How do you have, you have Bama, Bama as a better team? Oh, here we go. Because, here because here Bama has, they're not getting in. They're without Tua. Bama, they're Bama not getting in. Baylor, LSU, Baylor, 
What are you talking about? They are about? not, but I'm saying they have zero chance. Florida's not getting in. But I'm saying Baylor could come back and beat Oklahoma, and then maybe there's a little something. I th- I think the Pac-12 champion is in a very good spot to be that fourth I team agree with right that. now. I just think Bama, without Tua, as much as they said in the whatever in the show this week that oh maybe like uh, that oh that they don't see Matt Jones is like different from Tua, that's not true. That's a lie. That he's just not going to get. They're not getting in. They're just I don't not. Know how you have two loss Florida over over Alabama. Alabama or I mean, they have zero you say you say Alabama's not getting in, so you dropped them. Yeah, right? so I basically Florida just took them off the list. In. But Florida's not getting in. They're not. But I just took them off the list. They're done. Like they're why, not getting. Why in. Why do they leave the list? With Matt, with Matt Jones, they're not getting in. Without Tua, they're not getting in. I Brandon Walker loves it. You now you because you're arguing versus a young you know fatso. I have it, already. It's a lot I've already chopped up enough it's wins against you. Where I'm, I'm a, a lot made easier man. I'm to go versus Ev in this I'm crazy I'm a, logic. I'm a made man. I'm good. No, you're not a made man. It's not crazy. They're just not going to put them in without Tua. I'm not going to push anybody. I know, but you're not a made man. So then you're not free to push anyone. Well, I'm a made man. You're not a made man. Your logic is Alabama's not in because they can't get in. They can't get in. All right, but Florida, Florida can't either. Fuck Alabama, but I'm All saying right, they're just not getting it. Right. They're right. not getting it. All right. They're just not. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. I have out. Florida as my top ten just because he also I recognize how you. hard their schedule is. Exactly. Right. Right. He also doesn't think Minnesota can get in, but they that's can. true. Good they point. Can. Minnesota can get in. Yes, they I really don't. I really, oh, I generally don't think so. Forget it. I really don't believe so. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Just fade to black. I really don't believe so. Show over. Fade to black.